In education news, some students in Brooklyn Center don't have to leave school to get their eyes checked or have breakfast. Right now, only Brooklyn Center and Duluth have schools that are one-stop shops providing academic, social, and medical support. Eric Nelson found out it could be a model that's adopted by other schools. I think that the needs of our students are not getting any easier to tend to. In fact, I think they're becoming more complicated. From the outside, Brooklyn Center looks like your typical high school. We have a number of free and low-cost services here. They're available for any student living or going to school in Brooklyn Center who's 0 to 19 years old. But on the inside, there is much more than classrooms and lockers. So this is our dental room. We have children's dental services that comes in, and they provide services twice a month. Low-cost services for students going to school here. Brooklyn Center also has daycare, dental, medical, and nutritional options for students on campus all under the same roof. Our kids need additional resources. We no longer just teach English or science or social studies. We teach kids and everything that comes along with kids. This is the template for being a full service community school. It also eases the burden on low income students who deal with hunger, unemployment, and other issues. They grow up with trauma, generational poverty, um, homelessness, things that are happening that are completely out of their control, but also their family's control. In Brooklyn Center, I'm Eric Nelson, Channel 12 News. Brooklyn Center Principal Carly Jarvis says to continue funding this program, it needs government grants and partnerships with community groups.